Hi everyone, this is Trua, and that was our Killer Whale family showing off their size, speed, power, and problem solving abilities. These behaviors keep our whales active and engaged. Boy. SeaWorld's Killer Whales have inspired generations to care about our natural world, and we're excited to share their story with all of you today. Killer whales are the ocean's top predator. They use cooperation and communication, not just size and strength, to take their place at the top of the ocean's midway. At the bottom are small animals, like krill. At the top, the apex predator, the killer whale. Killer whales are as big as a bus, faster than an Olympic swimmer. creates trust, and that allows us to do some amazing things. For example, when you visit the doctor, you present your arm to draw blood, or step on the scale to see how much you weigh. It's much the same with our whales. Today you'll see our whales do behaviors together in unison. Synchronizing their movements and working as a team strengthens their social bonds and makes them the ocean's top predator. Their scientific name is Orsinus orca, but they're more commonly known as killer whales. Our five whales all have their own names. Their names are Katina, Milani, Malia, Trua, and Makayo. Makayo is our youngest at nine years old, and our oldest is Makayo and Milani's mom, Katina. She's 43 years old. Katina is the matriarch or the leader of our pod here. Our whales trust us and they take an active role in their own health and well-being. Through positive reinforcement training techniques, we teach them husbandry or healthcare behaviors. One of the first things that we teach our whales to do is called a fluke present, where they present their tail flukes to the trainer. Today we're going to demonstrate that with our two males, Makayo and Trua. Not only does a fluke present allow us to get a really good look at their entire body, but it also gives us access to veins, which are very easy to see on the white underside of their tail flukes. Our veterinarians collect a blood sample at least one to, once a month, and our whales are taught to stay calm and relaxed throughout. This afternoon you'll see that our trainers are giving the whales tail massages. They have very sensitive skin, and this is a great way for us to build our relationships with our killer whales. Now blood samples are just one way that we can make sure that our whales stay healthy. Another important diagnostic is weighing our whales. We weigh them twice a month, and we do that by asking them to slide their body up and out of the water onto a killer whale size scale that we have in one of our adjacent pools. We'll demonstrate in our slide out today. True on my right, he weighs almost 6,000 pounds. Makayo on the left weighs about 3,600 pounds. Now you'll notice that the portion of their body from their dorsal fin down to their tail flukes is in the water right now. That's a very strong muscle called a peduncle and it weighs several hundred pounds. So without the water, we wouldn't get an accurate weight. We're able to solve that problem by simply asking the whales to lift their tails up and out of the water. And this way we can make sure that their younger whales continue to grow and our adult whales maintain a healthy body weight. And the care isn't just physical. Mental stimulation and 